Uh, today I have a butterfly. It's a Chorgonoptera brookiana, Raja Brooks birdwing, and this was in someone's display collection. You can see the dermestid beetles got to it and ate up sections of the forewing. And uh, it's not it's not a terribly expensive butterfly, uh, twelve fifteen dollars, but uh, I'm going to try and repair it. Uh, if nothing else, just for the practice of repairing it. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I have another butterfly. This was a Asian swallowtail. And uh, I took the four wings off. And I made sections, they're black, that I can glue onto the back of this. Uh, so that when you look at the butterfly from the front, you won't see the damage in the wings. It's just a way to salvage it as a uh, as a display specimen. So I'm going to flip this upside down. So I can glue the wing sections on the back. And then I'm going to brace the abdomen with some pins just to hold it in place while I'm working on it. <coughs> now I took the wing you can see this is the rest of the wing I measured and cut this section off of to fit it I'm going to glue it to the underside like that to cover up the holes another section here for this. I just took a scissors and uh, cut the wing, shaped it so that it fit on there. So I'm going to use um, water-based clear glue and I'm going to put some little dots of glue on the surface of the wing here and then set this on top and press it into place. Right, so with this glue applicator, I can squeeze out a tiny little drop of glue at a time, and I'll just put a little dot along the margins of where I want to attach the wing. Just a dot here and there. doesn't stick very well. But once it settles in, it'll grip. Oh, it's not sticking at all there. I'm going to use a pin. And then a little on the margin here, if I can get some to stick, yes. They had this stored in a box and didn't look at it for a long time, wasn't paying attention. And this is how this happens. These little dermestid beetle larvae get in there and they'll just eat eat up the collection if you're not careful. There was no fumigant in the box either, so that was another mistake. Okay. I'm going to take my fine curve tweezers and uh, 
you want to try and get this placed properly right from the first so you don't have to move it around. I've already pre-fit this so I know it'll fit. There. And I cut it off at the bottom here so you could still see these green stripes. Now the wing's in the right place. I have some uh, thin sheet metal forceps and these are very gentle. The tip will flex so for handling something that you don't want to break. And I'm going to use this to squeeze along the wing to push it into place. To kind of smash it down. I'm going to flip it over and see if it looks right. It's pretty good that you can see a little bit of it sticking up here. So I'll need to push that down a little bit. Well, that's the uh, thin little edge of the original wing sticking up. You can see a little bump right there. So I'm going to try and push that into place. There, that's better. Okay, that's quite good. I'm going to mess with that margin a little bit. my finger. Yeah. You cannot even tell. Alright, do the other side. Brace the abdomen here. Put some glue dots on it. Yeah, the wings have little scales on them. And uh, in this case, it's making it difficult for the glue to stick. but it's working. Yeah, again, this specimen probably isn't worth that much, but, you know, it's a good opportunity to practice making repairs on an inexpensive specimen. So, if you have something that's worth, you know, $100 or $300 or something, you've got some experience to get an effective fix. margin here. You can see this thick part. The very front vein is thicker. And the uh, dermestid larvae ate the softer part. It's a bit thick. I can move that out a little bit. It's kind of a blob there. OK. 
Okay. I've got enough coverage. Give it a little squeeze. Okay, it's got to come down just a little bit. that over and see how it looks. Oh yeah. Look at that. There's a couple more little dots here. Little holes. This one I'll probably leave on the edge here. But these I can just plug with a tiny little bit of um, of the wing bits I have here. And I'll just put a little dot of glue on the back and uh, plug those little holes. Alright, now I've cut a little wing triangle. So I'm just going to put some glue maybe in the center of these uh, holes. It's a little triangle. Yeah, there we go. I'll just take this little triangle Just lay it right in that space. There. All right now, for these tiny little pinholes, you can see that. And there's a little tiny hole right there. There's a couple on the wing tip too. There is another way to correct those. I have some uh, model paint. This is uh, black acrylic. And I can just take a toothpick and dip it in this paint. A little paint on the end of the toothpick. And just touch it to the, to the hole from the back side. and it just blocks it. Yeah, there's a little dot on the tip here. Just get a little paint. Touch it to the hole. Not too much. If this was a, a specimen just for study, it wouldn't really be needed to do this. But, you know, as a display specimen, you kind of want to make it look nice if you can. And as long as it's still got data on it, it's still valuable. There. 
see there's a little dot there too. There. And there it is. Just looking at it, no one would ever know that it was that damaged. I may straighten out this antenna a little bit. Yeah, we should do that. To uh, straighten a crooked antenna, I'll take a little piece of paper towel like this and wet it. And then lay this wet piece of paper towel onto the antenna, especially at the base here. And that will soak some water into the antenna and make it flexible. Now, it's not going to take very long, so I'll just shut this off for a couple of minutes and we'll come back. And... All right, so it's been about five minutes and that should be enough. I'll just lift off this wet paper towel. And uh, pin the specimen nice and straight. And then I'll just take some pins. Actually, I'm going to brace the abdomen first so it doesn't move. And then just push this antenna out a little bit. There. It's better. All right, now this is sat overnight. And so the antennas are dry. Oh yeah, much better. Yep, that looks just good. Now, um, I still have these... Uh, Parts, leftover parts. I have my my box of parts. Whenever I have like a trashed butterfly or moth, I like to save the wings or parts for future repairs. Antennas, uh, wings. Here, these are the wing fragments that I cut out the repair pieces from, so I'll save those too. Yep, comes in handy. When you need a part, just go to my uh, Lepidoptera junkyard.